This is WPTV News Channel 5 at 7. Excitement builds across the FAU campus in Boca Raton. Super excited. I'm ready to get a win. FAU Owls are hours away from the biggest tip-off in school history. I don't think none of us can go anywhere on campus without taking a photo or signing something. Family, students, alumni, just about everyone in South Florida is hoping FAU can have their name cemented in history. It's just exciting, and I can't even believe it's happening, really. Can't expect to be a Miami High! And it's not just the Owls. The Miami Hurricanes are hoping to make history, too. I feel like it hasn't set in yet. I'm just living in the moment right now. Our full court coverage starts right now. And we really came a long way, but we're not done yet. Good evening, everyone, from the Baldwin Arena on the FAU campus. We're on the eve of the Final Four, and what an exciting time it is for South Florida. And this is why they call it March Madness. Why is it ever? Not a single number one seed remains in the tournament. Incredible. That is incredible. This year it's been all about the Cinderella stories, and there is no big or Cinderella story than the FAU Owls, and we're live for you with all of the action right here on the Boca Raton campus. And of course, we can't forget, just 50 miles That's south right. of us, the Miami Hurricanes are also in for a very exciting game. And as part of that, as we look at what's going on for the Owls, the Beach Boys, as they call themselves, their success, a huge headline. The team on the hardwood in Houston today for their last practice leading up to the big game tomorrow night against San Diego State. Less than 24 hours from now, they take on the Aztecs. The winner advances to the championship game on Monday, and we have Full court coverage from South Florida to Texas. FAU fans, of course, are flocking to Houston, and that is where WPTV anchor Holly Davis is. <laughs> Got to tell you, Houston fans, well, watch out, because these FAU fans are coming in loud and proud, ready to give their team that assist to the Final Four. <laughs> and it may be late March, but it's also May Madness, as in Dusty Madness future. And Theo Dorsey has more on the future of the Owls coach. Yeah, look, a hey, big payday on the way for Dusty May. I can still hear the FAU chants going on. But you know what? The players on the court, they're already finding new ways. How nice are they for him to spend it before he's even signed that check? <laughs> And, of course, we need our chief meteorologist, Steve Wiggle, right. with the Final Four forecast. Yeah, woo -woo. We have a great Owls forecast for you. Lots of excitement down here in Boca for FAU. We'll take a look at the watch party forecast coming up. Now, let's first look at the Owls' historic run, how they got there. First, of course, a 31-3 and regular season record marching through their conference. Then it was on to the tournament. In the first round, they beat the Memphis Tigers, my dad's alma mater. Then they topped Fairleigh Dickinson two days later. Then to the Sweet 16, this was huge, an upset of fourth-seeded Tennessee. And in the Elite Eight, FAU topping Kansas State, that nail-biter, 79-76. to And so the Owls are on the doorstep now, the Final Four and the big game facing the Aztecs tomorrow night. And it was a send-off, Michael, like no other for the Owls, FAU students, athletes, and fans all on campus this week as a team, of course, headed for Houston all week. We've talked to fans from all over the area about the Owls' Cinderella story, as they call it in sports. We're just so excited. They've been killing it. We just can't wait to watch them win again. It's been so awesome. I feel amazing right now because, like, I didn't expect this from the basketball team. I think everyone loves the underdog story, and it's cool when you are the underdog. Go Owls! Go Owls, indeed. A sea of red, white, and blue. We did our part, right, honey? <laughs> yes, we did. Descending on... Houston for the Final Four and blanketing South Florida. Right. Those fans are so committed, yeah. Michael. They couldn't stay here for the action. They had to go to Houston. We want to bring in our WPTV anchor, Holiday Davis, with more on the party going on over there. Hey, guys. Hey, honey. Hey, Michael. I've got to tell you, I made a little mistake earlier. I said Houston fans better watch out. 
San Diego State fans. Listen, we are at a rooftop party. This is for the Alumni Association, and they have just been on fire all afternoon. I've got to tell you, they are super excited. A lot of energy. <laughs> dare to say they have more energy than the actual students at FAU. They have been waiting a long time for this moment. It's come full circle for a lot of them. Real quickly, I want to show you some video of a pep rally that we went to earlier today. This was at Houston's largest mall, the Galleria, the band, the cheerleaders were there. We had a lot of students, faculty members there, fans coming in and out, even people who have no association to FAU. But somehow just wanted to be a part of really what is a historical moment. They had that mall hopping. It was such a fun time. And this is the team that even if you aren't necessarily an NCAA men's basketball fan, you're rooting for FAU to go all the way. So South Florida, it is safe to say, is on the map. Tomorrow is showtime. And let me tell you, everybody here tonight, they're going to be in those stands rooting their team on. Somebody else who's going to be inside that stadium tomorrow night, NRG Stadium, is 106.3 Theo Dorsey. I think, Theo, you probably have the best seat in the house. Holiday, I, I hope I have a good seat. At least they can get me close to the action as I see maybe FAU have a chance to punch its ticket to the national championship game. And if they do so, it's all folded into this one story, and that's been the guy, Dusty May. I mean, he's the hottest, or at least was, the hottest coaching candidate in all of college basketball. But you know what? It's official. He's not picking up your calls anymore because Dusty May is here to stay. What an incredible fifth year for the head coach of FAU. Just last night, he announced he's planning on signing a multi-year extension with the Florida Atlantic Owls. Let's just talk about how this year has gone. Not only are the Owls 35-3, and three, they won their first ever Conference USA title. This is a team that now is two wins away from a national championship, and Dusty May already the winningest coach in FAU history with 101 career wins all in Boca Raton. Now, when it comes to Dusty May, of course, that big paycheck, people in Houston here wondering, well, just how much, just how long? Those details haven't come out yet, but we, knew, we do know a big payday is around the corner, and the guys that made it happen for him on the court, they're already finding some creative ways for Dusty May to spend some of that bread, and I think it might involve a steak dinner. We're going to Morton's, right in Boca. Morton's, Morton's, Morton's. Tell him, tell him, where you at? Where Coach at? He's not in here. We're going to go to Morton's. We're going right to Morton's in Boca. What a guy. He definitely deserves it. He's a GOAT. He's a legend. Like, he definitely deserves it. It's like my father, man. Like, I'm from Mississippi. Long way from home, you know. Um, he never lied to me about nothing. He, he just told me that he would build a strong relationship with me from day one. And, and that's something he did from day one. And now I just feel like he's my father. Everybody in that locker room just loves Dusty May, the staff as well. There's only one player on this FAU team, senior Mike Forrest, who will not have eligibility next year. So along with Dusty May, this whole crew could be coming back. But enough about next year, enough about all of that. We still got some games to play here at NRG Stadium this weekend. And guys, I know y'all are pumped for it. I can't wait to be in the arena in the Texans Stadium to see if these Owls can't beat the Aztecs tomorrow night and punch their ticket to the national championship, huh? I'm just hoping I haven't got nails left. <laughs> <laughs> through all this. I, I was so pumped up. I airballed a few past the backboard a little while ago. I hit one or two out of about a dozen. But yes, everybody pumped up, Theo. I, I don't think that Theo or Hani are complaining because they love being in Houston. Yep. And they're going to be there all weekend long, yeah. bringing us all the action, of course, from the court. Uh, of course, on air, online at WPTV.com. The Miami Hurricanes also in that final four run. So let's not forget about them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, and you just brought up a great point as we talk about the Hurricanes, of course, 50 miles away, Coral Gables, getting ready to head to the Final Four as well. Big, big day. They'll go against UConn. Their coach, 73-year-old Jim Larangaga, uh, and he talked about the fact that at 73 years young, it's his second Final Four, first with the Canes, of course, and he talked about with the media today the bond he's formed with the team. They might see me as their grandfather, but we have a great working relationship because they know I care about them a great deal and that I want to help them achieve their goals. 
Coach Laranega, and again, for him, what excitement. 73 years old, you're on the precipice, too. We could end up mm -hmm. with a UM-FAU matchup, or FAU-UM right. matchup, depending on how you talk about it. Again, they go against the Huskies, all of South Florida, the center of college basketball. And no matter what, it's going to be a no-biting yeah, game. Sure is. Well, ahead, we've got plenty more for you in terms of coverage today, including a family that is just, really about the heart and soul of what this is all about. Just, uh, respect my family and represent them the right way. They're now known as the Beach Boys, but just ones born and raised in West Palm Beach. Giancarlo Rosado tells us what led to his success on the hardwood. She's the first one that really invested in us. She made a great investment to our university and to our programming. Talent, hard work, hard, it all goes into the Owls' success. But there's another piece to this, too, and she's very special to the team. We're going to tell you about Ellie after the break. And this is a great story. History, you definitely give a hoot. I'll take you for a walk down memory lane. All right, and we have some great weather to start this watch party weekend. I'll give you the forecast as we get into Saturday evening coming up. Where I caught my first bass, I never forget the story. I was such a little kid, the fish almost pulled me in the water. You know, that was the experience that I, I held on to for so long. It's something that's, you know, become a lifestyle for me. You know, before I even get out of the bed in the morning, I do two things. I pray and then I, I look at the weather app. WPTV. I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's no other app. I mean, I think that that's the cool thing, though, man. I wake up and check the WPTV weather app every single day. Johnny, what's with all the basketballs? Don't be mad, Jimmy. I'm signing them for all my fans. Fans? It's just us here. Get slam dunk savings on every new Arugo vehicle with 0% financing for up to 72 months on new Ram 1500s during Ram Truck Month. Boom shakalaka. Or up to 20000 off new Jeeps during the Jeep Celebration event. You want one? Of course. I'm your biggest fan, Johnny. For the lowest prices and the biggest selection. You gotta go, Arugo. Now's the time. Upgrade your home at Thayer's with savings of 40% or more store-wide. Shop a huge selection of genuine leather furniture, including an extra 10% off all Natutsi editions. And get special financing, white glove delivery, and free design services. Don't miss out on fantastic limited-time offers like this dining table over 55% off. Or this Tommy Bahama sofa on sale at an unbelievable $19.98. So many specials, so many possibilities. Where? Thayer's. It would appear that the butler did it. But this isn't a whodunit film. It's a Nissan sales event. Now that's a killer deal. Good thing this Rogue has a VC turbo engine, unlike RAV4. Get 0% financing for 36 months on Rogue. Catch these offers while you can. In a class of its own, parents, the A-rated School District of Palm Beach County now enrolling kindergarten students for the 2023-24 school year. We're thrilled for your child to join our school family, where they'll be educated and inspired in a nurturing learning environment. Register now at palmbeachschools.org slash kindergarten. Find out about Kindergarten Roundup, your free kindergarten readiness kit, and academic materials. The School District of Palm Beach County is your best choice. Florida Crystals is proud to be homegrown in Palm Beach County. We started our family-owned company here in 1960. From our modest beginning, we've grown to thousands of passionate, smart, and dedicated employees. We are proud to be farmers, but we're also engineers and coaches, scientists and Sunday school teachers, business leaders and mentors, all doing what we love in the community we call home. We're Florida Crystals, and we're proud to be your neighbors. Schumacher Chevy is your truck and SUV headquarters. Find new roads with Chevy. From work trucks to trail balls to high country. Get financing as low as 0% on your new Silverado 1500. Or lease Chevy Equinox LS for just $239 a month. That's $239 a month. Schumacher Chevy, North Palm Beach. Find new roads at Schumacher Chevy. Come join the family.
We have had so much fun this week on the FAU campus and all the way to Houston, everywhere in between, getting to know the bracket busters right. out of Boca Raton. And we can't get enough, but no. it's truly incredible that just one player on FAU's roster is actually born and raised right here it's in it, West it Palm is. Beach. Yeah. And that is Giancarlo Rosado. His grandmother told us that he was just 10 years old when he picked up a basketball, the first one, you believe yeah. it? Who would have thought he'd be this good? He then went on to play at Palm Beach Lakes High School. Giancarlo and his family, of course, will tell you that success is built on a strong foundation for them of faith and hard work. Gian was someone who got up every morning to wake me up for me to take him to the gym at 5. And we would be there too early. I learned work ethic from my grandmother and my mother. Those, those are two women that just, man, when you're talking about some workers, those are some real workers. Um, I, I, I just learned from them. I seen them growing up as a, as a kid. My mom worked doubles. And they are so proud of him, no <laughs> doubt. Over the moon. Over the moon. At Palm Beach Lakes, Giancarlo was a four-year varsity player, and then he's a member, of course, of the exclusive 1,000-point club. Wow. Quite a player, mm -hmm. quite a family, and it's a great part of the FAU story. Well, of course, this weekend, everybody's going to be everywhere. So if you're heading out to the big game, you want to know what's the weather going to be like if I have an outdoor party, let's say. Of course. So we want to turn to our chief meteorologist, Steve Weagle, with all the forecasts of the Final Four. Yeah, you guys are just around the corner, and this is absolutely gorgeous out here. We're at the uh, Student Union Building, uh, where they've had their sorority socials tonight. Uh, the uh, last of the buses just took off, and it is a great start. Uh, unbelievable. It's the last weekend of March. Uh, the gear is here. Of course, the uh, shirts, they uh, they tell me you can if you still want to get some gear, you can get it at the bookstore. It's open tomorrow. It's closed now, but open tomorrow. They have final four shirts that you can watch too or buy, and you can watch a little bit of rain work in for the second half of the day. The forecast calling for sunshine, but as we get into late afternoon, early evening, there will be some showers coming from the lake toward the coastline, and it could put a little bit of a damper on some of those watch parties. So if you're heading out, even if you're heading out and watching the game inside, you may need the umbrella as you uh, get outside the car and, and get in the, uh, the, you know, the bar, the pub, or wherever you're, you know, your friend's house, wherever you're watching the game, because there will be a little bit of wet weather. But overall, beautiful. And I know, uh, Michael and Hottie, there is, uh, there's definitely electricity here uh, with the FAU. I mean, they're, they're, they're just, they're, they're loving this street that they're on. And they're, they're, whenever I ask them, they're like, we're winning tomorrow night. We're going to be back uh, early next week to win it all. Right. Love I love, love that. <laughs> Already predicting the score. <laughs> I love right. it. Thanks a lot, Steve. No matter where you're at, whether you're here, Houston, yeah. or in between, or in between, <laughs> right across the state of Florida, there is going to be a watch party oh, at, yeah. on every corner. Well, we've got the places for you to watch. So you're like, where do I find the list? Well, one of the ways, scan the QR code you see right there, and it'll give you a list of all your locations. You can also go to WPTV.com and find all of that on the WPTV News app. One of the most fun things this week for me, honey, has been able to explore a little bit of the history of FAU, a proud institution nearly 60 years old. Come along with me for a look at history at a school where they really give a hoot. The owls are turning heads everywhere. Go owls! <laughs> all right, all right, good stuff. This is mom and baby. They're burrowing out. Yeah! Roll owls, yeah. baby, roll owls. <laughs> These are definitely uh, not burrowing owls, but they're all birds of a feather history-wise, including the school's beautiful mascot. Just to orient you, we're north of the FAU football stadium. Now, way back in 1971, the entire FAU campus, and particularly this area, named a burrowing owl sanctuary by the Audubon Society. FAU noted that most predators would be scared away because of the nearby airport. That's another piece of history. FAU sits right next to the Boca Raton Airport because during World War II, the whole area, future campus included, was an Army airfield. Dr. Larry Fairman, one pumped up owl, is a 2009 FAU grad and now VP of Student Affairs. When we take a look at South Florida, and it's always known for the beaches, um, it's always known more as a tourist destination, but to be on that national map as a destination for education and teaching and learning um, has been tremendous for us. It all started here when President Lyndon Johnson arrived in Boca Raton in 1964 to open FAU. 
There is no final poor excitement today without the pioneering local leaders who fought to expand college opportunities. Definitely putting our school on the mark, and a lot of people are going to realize where we are and what we're about. Historic excitement for a school and... As the burrowing owl reminds us, a university grounded in nearly 60 years of tradition and vision. Hmm. What a beautiful story. Yeah, it's a great story. March Madness and a school definitely on the positive march. Nearly 60 years of great history. And we have a tiny little friend who visited That's our morning right. team. We'll have more on Esther the Owl when we come back. Closed captioning is sponsored by Jupiter Medical Center, celebrating all physicians in recognition of National Doctors' Day. South Florida comes alive at night. The city and the people have a different look, a different feel, a different vibe. There's an elevated sense of style, an air of confidence. And Ford trucks don't just fit in, they stand out. Ford F-150, perfect for South Florida. Now get 0% financing plus 2,000 bonus cash on a 2022 Ford F-150. Only at your local Ford dealer. Discover the amazing comfort and lasting value of a new Prana Sleep Karma mattress. Available exclusively at City Mattress. Save up to $1,600 on the entire collection. Plus, upgrade to an adjustable base and save even more. Get the handcrafted quality of Prana Sleep with interest-free financing, free delivery and setup, and our 90-day comfort guarantee. Save today on all Prana Sleep mattresses. Exclusively available at City Mattress. Ford. Grab a new Ford car or truck with 0% interest for up to 36 months or $1,000 customer cash on select 2022 F-150 plus 3.9% for 72 months. WayneAcresFord.com or 10th Avenue, Lake Worth. Is your air conditioning system ready for the warmer weather? Beat the rush by scheduling your $49 air conditioning tune-up now with ARS Rescue Rooter. An annual AC tune-up can save you money and help prevent costly breakdowns during the hottest months of the year. Schedules will fill up fast, so keep your family cool all summer long by calling ARS today for your $49 AC tune-up. Visit ARS.com to schedule your appointment. Call ARS and Rescue Rooter. It would appear that the butler did it. But this isn't a whodunit film. It's a Nissan sales event. Now that's a killer deal. Good thing this Rogue has a VC turbo engine, unlike RAV4. Get 0% financing for 36 months on Rogue. Catch these offers while you can. Subscriptions are now available for the Maltz Jupiter Theater's 20th anniversary season of hit Broadway shows including Murder on the Orient Express, A Christmas Carol, Beautiful, The Carol King Musical, Plaza Suite and 42nd Street. For tickets, go to jupitertheater.org. Hi, I'm Blake Packer, a third generation Packer, and I invite you to experience the pinnacle and luxury at Al Packer Lincoln. Refined design cues, enhanced polish and poise, the finest materials and cutting-edge technology. That's Lincoln Luxury. Contact Alpaca Lincoln today, and let's custom design your dream Lincoln. And remember... Honey, it's a real pleasure to stand inside the Eleanor Baldwin Arena here on the FAU campus where so much hard work, dedication, discipline, sweat, tears, and joy, all of it coming together. Absolutely. And as WBTV anchor Shannon King found, there's another ingredient to the team's success, and they call her Ellie. <laughs> Where do you sit? Up there. Right there. Meet Eleanor Baldwin. And you've been at every home game this season. I missed one. At first glance, you may not realize. And I watched all the away games on the TV that we could. This retired Boca Raton educator. How special is she to this team? Uh, she's very special. I mean, she believed in us from the start. Here... Eleanor Baldwin, affectionately known as Ellie, is number one. At every game, Ellie sits in her booth. She sits up there. Right up there. <laughs> do you, sit, do you yeah, see her? Yeah, I see her up there. Yeah, I see her up there with her husband, and um, it's a great scene to see her up there. Uh, and I hope we're making her proud. She also has the front perch on the team bus. We stay at the same hotel, and they'll stop you in the hallways at the hotel. Yeah, they're very um, polite. 
and they're so nice. She's the first one that really invested in us. She made a great investment to our university and to our program. In November of last year, Eleanor Baldwin, already an FAU donor, gave a big gift to this basketball team. Yeah, well, it's going to look a lot better. They're going to refurbish it all. We caught up with her at center court to talk about the team's Cinderella story. How special is this for you? Well, it's just exciting. And I can't even believe it's happening, really. They act like I started the whole basketball season for them. Because they keep saying that the 30-day stretch of no losses started with me giving that donation. And I don't know, but it's just been great. It was a $7.5 million boost. I think it gave them the confidence and it gave them the enthusiasm. And to have all these students in the stands cheering them on, I think was a big part of them getting excited about FAU. Because before, so few of the students came to any of the athletic events. And now this stadium, this arena has been just packed so that people couldn't even get in the last game. With her donation came the naming rights for the Owls' home court. The students call the arena the Ellie, which is my nickname. And when I come into a building and they all chant, Ellie, 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 and it's so exciting. <laughs> It's, the feeling is indescribable when you have a community, have people that uh, really love the university and they get a chance to watch you play on the biggest stage. So you'll board the bus with the team? Yes. And fly on the plane with the team? Yes. Ellie will be courtside in Houston cheering on her owls and doesn't plan to miss a single dribble on her home court next year either. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, this is called the Ellie, and I mean, it's been rocking this year, so uh, we're going to keep calling it the Ellie, and we're going to keep rocking the Ellie. Tomorrow in Houston, owls versus the Aztecs. And school spirit personified right there. Full court coverage from South Florida to Texas. Thanks so much for joining us. Go, Go owls! owls. <laughs> Good night, everyone.